Super hot, quiet, sweltering sort of August day, and then the big thunderstorms rolling in tonight. And as we've talked about, the really big thing was the wind, some damaging wind reports coming in from around the Lacombe area. We've also had the 57 mile per hour gust recorded at the lakefront and 52 miles per hour over at Kenner. So really high winds, not just with these storms, but a lot of you were saying online with this, that outflow boundary or gust front coming out ahead of those uh, main thunderstorms. So these originated way to the north and they held together. We have a little bit of drier air in place during the day. We didn't manage to get the storms, but sometimes this does happen, especially this time of year. These storms originate far to the north and then they do make it all the way across Mississippi sometimes and arrive in New Orleans. So we do have the downpours, but these are moving really fast. So this is all going to be over and actually almost is over for some North Shore spots, especially farther to the north already. This will be probably coming to to an end within the next maybe 20 30 minutes or so for the metro area and then especially by midnight and beyond everything will be much quieter the severe thunderstorm warning does go until 10 30 for those high wind gusts and chris was kind enough to send me this on twitter on airline near cleary some poles uh, were appearing to be either kind of broken off one or just completely bending maybe from the wind damage so we'll have more coming in as we get a better feel for what's happened with this line of storms but certainly the high wind gusts have a Company, these storms as they moved really fast at one point between Jackson and some of our North Shore spots. They were racing along at 40 miles per hour from the north to the south. We have that little surface front to the north. Again, just tracking this quickly by midnight. I think this is probably lagging a little too late actually with the rain in the area since it's already almost in that location. Now 2 a.m. much quieter and then we shouldn't have any problems for early Monday morning. And in fact, the rest of the day tomorrow is looking mainly dry like today. We'll have maybe a very slim 10 or 20 percent chance for a couple of storms. Storms. It's 79 degrees, the dew point only at 68, so you may have noticed just very slightly lower humidity, especially now as we've entered this nighttime time frame. Our lows tonight will be in the 70s, and after these storms come to an end, we should have clearing skies actually. And then tomorrow, to start the day, we have a 20% chance of rain, hot, sunny. Today our high was 95, yesterday too. Tomorrow we will be right there in the middle 90s. Feels like temperatures probably 100 to 105 or so with the humidity not soaring to about 80 degrees for the dew point we can manage with feels like temperatures around 100. I was outside today though and I know it was really hot tomorrow. Our forecast showing hardly any rain and it will be correspondingly quite hot Tuesday. A little surge of some slightly drier air works in so it might be a little less humid. Then later this week we'll see a, an area of low pressure just kind of skirting across our coastline so that may enhance our rain chances a little bit at the end of the week. Here's our available moisture forecast showing these blues getting all the way into South Louisiana. So we may notice a slight break in humidity, not a huge October crisp kind of setup, but the dew point may go from 75 where it's been pretty oppressive, maybe into the 60s. So that should be not too bad, I would say. Now in the tropics, this is what we're going to be talking about a lot this week. Two tropical waves are out there. Tropical storms Josephine and Kyle have fallen apart, so those are not out there anymore, but we'll be talking about both of these both of which are getting a 50% medium chance of development right now from the National Hurricane Center. And this is really rough. I want to stress these are very far out. These are just tropical waves, but we are going to track them because one may cross the Caribbean Sea. This one's called Invest 97, by the way, at this point, and it may be somewhere near the Yucatan Peninsula a full week from now, next Saturday, and we'll see its status then. And then another one following behind may be on the northern end of the Caribbean Sea a full week from now, and it does look like the Gulf might be open for a possibility. We'll have to see again. These may not be extremely strong. We'll kind of have to watch them as we do when we start to see these coming all the way off the coast of Africa and crossing the ocean. It is that time of year, 25 days until the peak of the season. Big jump in activity usually comes, and the next two names on the list, by the way, are Laura and then Marco. No immediate threats to the US at this point, but a full week from now you saw where the potential location of those waves may be. And we will, of course, be tracking it really closely as we get into the end of August. Notice those rain chances jump up a bit by Wednesday and might stay near 40, 50 percent into next weekend. All right, and Alexander touched on this. When you go outside and it's sticky, you know it's humid and you often hear about that number associated with how it feels, that dew point. Well, Paul Dudley and weather expert Peyton Malone dig dive deep into